Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a personal tutorial on this card, which is one of my designs I made years ago, so remaking it was a bit of a challenge, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started and I'll explain some things along the way, but hopefully it isn't too difficult. So for the heart menu, pretty much everything in the code is going to stay the same, which is really nice that it's all set up for you. But really quickly, I'm going to go over what some things you might want to change. So the names of the sections, for example. And then also me personally, I instead of hashtag one, I've named my section break in the reference card home. So you just want to make sure that whatever the section names are are aligned in the code and like i said you can change the titles as well as the color which i forgot which color i used but you are gonna find where it says flip card front and flip card back and then this is the white gradient color so unless you want to change that leave it be and you don't have to use an rgb you can just paste the um hex code and then just make sure you also do it for the back otherwise they will be different colors unless you want to make them different colors that's up to you similarly for the marquee text everything is already adjusted for you. I just ended up putting the code I used in the pasty bin instead of the original one because you would have to edit more. 
and then at the bottom you're just gonna change the text right now it's lyrics to a song but you can put whatever you want
For the cursor, it's really important that both for the cursor and the codes box, the defer script tag checkbox at the end is unticked. I put that in the Google Doc, but for the cursor, you're just going to want to change the colors at the top. So I'm just going to copy the colors I put for the reference card and just paste them here. The cursor is also optional. It's mainly for aesthetics. It doesn't really add anything to the functionality of the card and the codes. It's a pretty lengthy code. So if you need help with anything, please feel free to send me a retro spring, um, a DM, whatever. But yeah, so here's the disable left click and then we have the hidden scroll bar, the fonts, the rubber band text, so it's just really important that you alternate the text when you're making them. So you make a title text and then an info text and then a title text and then an info text so that the rubber band is applied to the title text and not the info texts. And then this is the mark, which is the highlight right here. And so you are welcome to change the background of the gradient. You can do so right here, this part of the code. And these are all the container settings, the positioning. You may need to adjust that depending on your device, but it should look relatively the same on mobile. That's why the page size is so small. And again, it's just really important to make the containers in the order I make them and not copy. Use this button, don't use this button to copy elements as that will misalign the element IDs, which isn't a big deal, you just have to fix it in the code so it um, uses a bit more time. And then here is the settings for the buttons, which I didn't edit the buttons just for the sake of time, but you would put your links here and change the icon and the title, you know, as usual. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna take a look at the result. Alrighty, and here's what your final result should look like as usual if you need any help or have any questions please feel free to let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye